What's your name? My name, mm -hmm. Milipnos. Can you spell that, please? M L E P Clay. Did you say clay? Yes, the clay is silent. Oh, I'm Henry Morgenthau, owner of Delicious and Expensive Hams. Don't I know you from the grocery store? Kill and seen. Speaking of ties, where's yours, Meat Morp? This is fantastic. Captain, hey, welcome to the murder. Good. Thanks, Dad. Why is everyone staring at me? You just called Captain Holt Dad. You said, thanks, Dad. What? No, I didn't. I said, thanks, man. Do you see me as a father figure, Peralta? No. If anything, I see you as a bother figure, because you're always bothering me. Hey, show your father some respect. I didn't call him Dad. This is killing me. Good. Die. One is your locker, the other is a garbage dump in the Philippines. Can you tell which is which? That one's the dump. They're both your locker. God, I should have guessed that. He's good. Have you seen this man before? He was shot last night. Oh, thank you. No, sir, no, that's sir. ours. We need that. Are you a minor? How old are you? 610, I'm a Highlander. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna put that in there, and then you're gonna be tried as an adult Highlander, and they're gonna cut your head off. Is that what you want? But you calling Holt Daddy. Hey, Daddy is not on the table here. But you did call him Dad, dude. You shut up. You've done nothing but lie since you got here. All right, all right, I was lying about the holdup. But the Dad thing, that happened. Aha! He admitted that his alibi was a lie. It was a trap, all part of my crazy, devious plan. I believe you. Thank you. Son. Do you want to talk about it later over a game of catch? I'd like that. Wait, before you say anything, I want to guess what happened based on your face. Someone died. No, you won a prize. I'm not getting better at this. That's the DA wanted me to personally thank you for your work on the J Street drug bust. That's why we do this, sir. For praise? OK, no hard feelings, but I hate you. Not joking. Bye. Black people can sell drugs. 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 Ask him about his bank account. You should ask him about his bank account. Captain, Santiago broke the glass. Be more articulate when you speak to the children. Yes, sir. I will make better mouth. Take Diaz and Peralta. Yes. My fantasy threesome. Thank you. Are you bowing? No. This is how I walk. Hey. You're dripping on my carpet. Oh, don't worry, sir. It's just urinal water. Clean urinal water. You could eat off his shirt. Why would I ever eat off his shirt? All right. Give me your hair dryer. What, what are you talking about? Don't you carry one in your purse? Have you ever met a human woman? Yeah. Hey, no! What would Bill say? Are you in my ceiling, Peralta? No. Here I come. Oh, strong. Captain, you better head over there for like 15 minutes and see what's going on with that. Beware the backdraft. I'll be in your office. You have beautiful eyes. Air Captain Crunch was a war hero and the primary male role model in my house growing up, so. Detectives rise and shine. Peralta, I want you to bring everyone up to speed. You slept in your office and you look exactly the same. How? What are you talking about? My hair is a mess. Two, three, four. Damn it, this is amazing. This pie is so good, I hate it. You just graduated pie school, bitches. Sorry I said bitches, I'm just really worked up. I just want to go home. Yeah, but I have to prove I'm not selfish, so I don't care what they want. That sounded bad. Do it! I believe in you. Throw it! I believe in you! Huh. Well, his advice worked. <laughs> you're, you're a cop, and, and I'm a firefighter, but underneath all of it, we're just two boys whose dads abandoned them. Those are spoonfuls of mayo sprinkled with peanuts. That's revolting. Maybe so, but it's what I invented when I was six because my mom was working, so I had to make dinner for myself. My sad story trumps your insult. Jake! 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 Thank you, Boyle. You look beautiful. Come back at you, Jake. And 
I hope that my relationship with this person will only grow more intimate. Who are you talking about? Um, Hitchcock. My wife was murdered by a man in a yellow sweater. My super weird family with two black dads and two Latina daughters and two white sons and Gina and I don't know what you are, some strange giant baby. Why do you care what they think? Psychologists are just people who weren't smart enough to be psychics. Well, what about if we flip those lips? Oh, Ooh. God. I think I really would have gotten along with young Ray Holt. Yes, that's why I decided to change everything about my life. Team pop and lock, here we go. <laughs> Come on, still, we saved your life. Oh my God, oh, oh my God, oh. it's happening. Oh. Yes, oh. we did it! Oh. Excuse me, oh. this is a hospital. Right, sorry, people are dying. Ouch, you ran over my foot. I am in incredible pain. How many cars would you say this Pontiac Bandit has stolen? 230 that I know of, but the real number could be in the millions. You're not very good at math. Hmm? He said that if the bullet was a fraction of an inch to the left and two feet up, it would have hit my brain. His mom put this stupid braid in my hair. Oh, it looks beautiful. Yeah, it's kind of cute. Please have my children. Just know, you have disappointed all three of us. Where's my grandmother's ring? Oh, found it. I'll be right back. Please get out of my way. I am physically disabled. Wow, your handshake is quite firm. I took a seminar. Where? Captain, you look... No. Oh, I've caused a problem. I think I am getting a text message. Look. Ah, there it is. Have you seen Rosa? Rosa died eight years ago. I'm sad y'all arrested me. I gotta say, I'm glad you're back together. Scully, is Kelly your wife or your dog? How can you ask me that? I still don't know which it is. It could be either. I could not tell you. Can you estimate the value of everything that was taken? Emotionally, $700 million. Yeah, he does. Terry Jeffords is back. Chest bump me. You don't want to do this, man. No, I really do. It hurts you every time. No, I know, but I'm fired up. The adrenaline is going to carry me through. Here we go. <laughs> Have you seen Terry? I lost him. His children could be orphans already. Fatherless, mother having orphans. Are you sure I shouldn't go get him? I feel a little uncomfortable leaving him out of this. Don't think of it as leaving him out so much as including his babies and having a father. You gonna talk to me now? Uh, sure, uh, if you could be any vacation. Oh! Vows if you're nasty. It was made in the year... Five. Ah, Captain Holt, you look very sad. I can never tell. You gonna let me do this, man? What choice do I have? You hit me in the arms so hard they no longer work. God, we're doomed. Boy, it looks like a lesbian. I collect antiquities. I'm a serious person. I'm writing a movie right now about the Russian Revolution. Oh, uh, really? Who does Kevin James play in it? Aha, uh -huh. it's a serious movie. Trotsky. Be appropriate. Now break it up. We look weird. Right. What are you thinking about right now? I was thinking how I would make the perfect American president based upon my skill set, dance ability, and bloodlust. Because he's gay, Raymond has been put through hell by his colleagues, many of whom, quite frankly, look exactly like you. Devastatingly handsome. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm uncomfortable with emotions. My mother cried the day I was born because she knew she would never be better than me. Gina has brought back all the silverware that she stole from your house. What? Also, this clock. <coughs> Good heavens. This isn't ours. If you like pina coladas. Dead guy, Charles. Sorry. I'm busy right now working on this excuse. I think Santiago's free. Oh, gosh. I am so sorry. I literally just retired. You should make me your campaign manager. I was born for politics. I have great hair, and I love lying. You know what the toughest part about being a gay black police officer is? The discrimination. <laughs> Scully and Hitchcock only arrested 14 people, but that's eight more than last year. They only arrested six people last year? Hey, just out of curiosity, how many people have you given STDs to? Lots. Like a hundred. Gina? Gina.
Gina. Sorry, I was playing Crazy Cupcakes. Crazy Cupcakes? Crazy with a W, a backwards W. There's no such thing as a backwards W. <laughs> yeah, there is. I have a sexy voice. Champagne, mountain range, hugs. Hey. Oh, I hate pizza. Stop playing Crazy. And stop playing this inane garbage. It's embarrassing. Say it to my face. I did. You were looking at your phone. Oh, cool. My bae. I'm not angry. I think it's funny. <laughs> Shoot around corners. I love guns. I'm gonna make such a good dad. I am captain of this precinct, and you are my assistant. I have given you a direct order to leave. I do not have a problem. If I want to play Quasi Cupcakes, I will play Quasi Cupcakes. I can taste my thoughts! Let's break that course record and be the best precinct here. Ready? One, two, three. Let's break, break that course record and be the best precinct here. here. Yeah, I agree. It was too many words. Let's do it. Captain. Captain. Sorry. <laughs> I'm just about to enter Sprinkle City. They break the game into these idiotic worlds to give you some false sense of progress. So, just stop playing. But I'm just about to enter Sprinkle City. Why'd it be weird? Um, it'd be weird because I'm weird. Oh. Ooh. I'm leaving. One question. Can you see my underwear? Ah, thong! Why are you wearing a thong? It's my something borrowed. He submitted an official complaint against you. Did he fill it out in crayon? No, but he did use a green pen, which seems crazy to me. Retire? Boyle, we're supposed to die on the force together. Me in a big explosion and you committing suicide at my funeral out of respect. I know. <laughs> Go back inside! Are you talking to us or the fart? I'll try. I'm sorry. Please, Diaz. No need to make a scene. Only question is, how do you hurt your arm smiling? The pizza toss, the tornado, the scorpion, the oopsie doodle. Why are you telling me this? Because no one will ever believe you. No, no. You sick son of a bitch. Aw, that's so gross. What's this weekend? We rented a cabin in the Berkshires. We're taking a couple's cooking class, and there's this great antiques fair. It sounds like you two have a wonderful lesbian vacation planned. You have seven cavities. I have to say, I feel like you deserve this. Is Jay-Z really your favorite artist? Yes, obviously. Lie. <laughs> See, it's busted. Is it? Or is your favorite artist really Taylor Swift? <laughs> no. Lie. All right, fine. She is. She makes me feel things. She makes all of us feel things! Come with me. Jay. Huh? People normally move after they say that. Oh, yeah, I fell asleep for a second. Now I'm telling my friend about how you killed that guy. It was for love. Cool motive, still murder. Amy, mm -hmm. tell me who's there. I'm blind. Look, let's just agree to say I'm sorry on the count of three. One, two, three. See, now I'm just disappointed in both of us. Have a seat, detective. I will not. Excuse me? Uh, sorry. I meant out of respect, I will choose to stand. Sit. I will not. Let's do the prank where we don't even acknowledge him when he comes in, okay? Shh, shh, shh. Everyone, shh. Back in the 9 9. Woo! <laughs> Jake, 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 Jake! There's a confused old woman here who wants to talk to a detective. Uh, it's like when I was a kid and my grandma came home from the hospital, only we'll be better because Jake's not unresponsive. <sighs> Every time you talk, I hear that sound that plays when Pac-Man dies. I got aroused last night watching a nature documentary on bees. I was fine until they went inside the hive. Look, you guys, if the sergeant wants to chop off his penis, that is his choice. Oh, God! You can't move! Concede defeat, sir! You have been conquered! Just curious, does your system have pluses in it, or is, like, A the highest? Captain Wunsch. Good to see you. But if you're here, who's guarding Hades? Time for me to get out there and spread my legs. legs. Get out there and spread my legs? Well, I, either way. When I beat you, which victory dance should I do? This one? Or this one? <laughs> On your mark, get set, Wahlberg. Hey, Jake. Hey, Charles. 
Who's this with me? Hitchcock? Well, we should go now. Sir, with all due respect. Come on, homie. No? Peralta, have you the support of you? Yes, that would be very funny. I made a switch. That's a fake. No. This one's a fake. What? No. What? No. What? No. If you forget your moves, just rip your cape off and throw me up in the air like a pizza. If I run and leap at Terry, he will most certainly catch me in his arms. Coming in! No, holding coffee! Madeline, I wondered why all the birds had suddenly stopped singing. Your use of the word horrible leads me to believe that the matter was sexual in nature, given your obvious immaturity. I've had sex. I could get in a lot of trouble for this. But the big secret about Captain Holt is that I have a flair for the dramatic. Your first casual relationship. Nice work. I know. I didn't even propose to her once. My middle name is Jacob. Maybe she fell into another dimension where she's interesting. Shouldn't you be on your belly, you snake? Yeah, you snake. What is happening? Oh, look at me. I'm a lawyer. I'm so good at word using attitude. And yes, I know that that wasn't word right. Still not participating. I'm enjoying a magazine. I'm not backing down this time. I'm backing up. Beep, beep, beep. Sir, permission to arrest Diaz for being a jerk. Permission to shoot Santiago for being a coward. Stop it, both of you. Now you've done it. You've made me turn my chair. No further questions. You're not allowed to say that. Yep. Wait, is that a healed over earring hole? Do you have a scandalous past? I was stabbed in the line of duty. The scar, oh, dear I... captain, we were all so sorry for your loss. Please let us know if there's anything we can do. Sent from my stinky butt. It's one 12 hour shift. What are you afraid is going to happen? Injury, death, general calamity. Just don't burn the place down. So, Captain, I have some news. What happened? OK, I'm going to call Holt. You want to come? Yeah. Too bad you're not invited. I'm in charge. Bye. Good. He's gone. Now let's get serious and focus up. Just trying to get to the printer. Boyle, why don't you show Donger what a fax machine is? Okay. Okay, imagine a letter had unprotected sex with a phone. No, I haven't seen it. I very much doubt that. Why would the housekeeper steal your belt? What husband? She's a widow. I... Uh-oh, I have to go. Santiago, are you smoking in there? No. Why do I see smoke? That's... Steam, I'm in the shower. You work for the post office. Your motto is, surprisingly, we exist. Incorrect. Our motto is, nos custodimos quadlingus. We guard what you lick. That's worse. <laughs> Police, hands in the air. Damn it. Yes. Oh, Boyle. Yeah. The only way to make things right is to do the worst, most awful thing imaginable. Dip your penis in vinegar. Guess who? NYPD, hands up. I'm about to break up with him. Oh, no. I just negotiated my baby girls down from a pony to a hamster. <laughs> Little fools. Damon. <sighs> In the closet where they can't watch us? Yep, smart. Ah, puppets! My favorite meal is a simple roast chicken and potatoes. It was the only dish my mother knew how to cook, and when I eat it, I feel as though I am once again inside her womb. Teddy, think fast, drink menu. Oh. I wanna break us up. Hey, folks. Welcome to the Maple Drip Inn. Whoa! Why doesn't someone answer that phone? Get it, I'll get it. Hello. No, there's no Michael here. You have the wrong number. Goodbye. Uh, I'm Michael. That's a dumb name, but it's yours, and you should be proud of it because you are the greatest detective I've ever known. Well, the, the higher the heat, the faster the eggs cook, the sooner Kevin eats. Am I incorrect? My immune system is too weak to fight off my small muscles. Take a good look, kids. This is what happens when you're naughty! Rosa, 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 Rosa. I can't think of your last name, baby. You mean so much, and it's been so stressful, and it went so well. 
Seriously, look at me, I cannot stop smiling. How do people do this with their faces? Her and the other cheek, which I recently learned is about faces and not butts. Lunch time is over. Boom, did it. <laughs> Had it both ways. No regrets. In three, two, one, no talking. Zip it. If you hadn't have stopped the elevator, you could have walked off after your great speech. Now we all got to sit in it. Hey. Hello, Kevin. Rosa, Marcus. Kevin, Uncle Ray. Marcus, and Cheddar. Cheddar is also here. Brothers fight, but at the end of the day, they're always there for each other. My brother had sex with my wife, and then he ran to the Florida Keys. One day, I'll finish him. Just be arrested, man. We're trying to have a moment here. Just three people with pants on having a normal conversation. And thank you, Poseidon, great god of the sea! You should be wailing, you stone cold bitch. Now call my other grandma. Look, Sarge, I burned 200 calories. That's your heart rate. Yeah, that checks out. Just real quick, what's a good book on parenting that you could recommend? Or better yet, what's a good movie on parenting? I've come to ask for your help. The commissioner will be wait, calling wait. you. Oh, moment savored. So, where were we? Ah, yes, you were talking about how I hold your fate in the palm of my hand. And the only reason I didn't tell you guys is because I don't value you as people. So it's like, why be honest? You like Sophia, you fought for her. You should be proud. No, you should be changing her autocorrect. What's her last name? Perez. No, it's Butt now. Sophia Butt. Plans are plans. I'm a badass, not an anarchist. Sarge, with all due respect, I am going to completely ignore everything you just said. Do you know how many basic bitches would kill to have the same personality as me? Leave it to the NYPD to screw up being hostages. I thought cops love to sit around on their fat asses all day and do nothing. That's it. Whoa! My ass is not fat! Kind of sounds like it was just about your weight issues. You're a great leader, and most importantly, any basic bitch would be lucky to be like you. Apology accepted. Can I have a huge raise? No, but I am expanding your responsibilities to match your great promise. You are now in charge of all scheduling decisions and budget tracking. No! Remember that morning? He left this house at 7 and was in a great mood. In fact, he was still chuckling about the previous night's Charlie Rose. Fine, so your marriage might not be the problem, but... He if you love someone, you'll remember what they look like. But I am a damn good cop, and I will not be made a fool of. So I'm going to go into that room, and I'm going to get that lousy old geezer to admit on camera that he robbed those banks. He just died. What? Wait, so you heroically fought off three guys and that puts you in a bad mood? If I did that, I would literally write a song about myself. It would be like, Jake the hero, abs of steel, sha la la la. Man, this elevator's slow, huh? That's because you haven't pressed the button. That's why you're the captain. <laughs> so smart. I'm gonna just zip. A no more turkey. My mom is marrying Shudder. Charles's dad, toilet emoji. I wasn't injured. I was lightly stabbed. I'm sorry. You were stabbed? Lightly stabbed. Guys, guess who I'm about to see? The boobs. Michael Buble. Tucks on, gun out. I feel like James Bond. And you are my mysterious femme fatale that I've been partnered with. Maxi pads. Maxi pads? Marriage is a con tracked between two adults of different families. It's a haiku and a fact. It works on two levels. We're gonna go out to dinner tonight, then maybe take a walk through the park, possibly a carriage ride. If I get chilly, he could loan me his coat. I'm describing a date. I don't know what fathers and sons do, but I'm gonna find out. Joining us for lunch, sir? Oh no, I've already consumed the required calories for this day period. Yummy. It's, it's bad. I could lose my pilot's license. But you're the best pilot in the world, I'm guessing, without knowing anything about the field. New some of it, new some of it. Shoot. <laughs> that means turnips. I, I said we were turnips. Uh, I got it, don't worry. We are turnips. Nope, that was English. That's my dad, the captain, talking right now. I came out of his body. No big deal. Believe me, no one is more disappointed in me than me. Than I, Santiago. Those islanders and their pathetic seesaw haunt my dreams. They mock me in my sleep, riding up and down on a teeter-totter of taunts. Cool. So
So, who gets the Beyonce tickets? I don't do drugs. I'm sure a couple of my teeth are loose, but that's from dental neglect, not meth. They were made to be followed. Nothing is made to be broken. Uh, pinatas. Glow sticks. Karate boards. Spaghetti when you have a small pot. Anyway, I can prove that I filled up my tank, all right? I even have a receipt because I keep all my receipts like a mature adult person. Laser tag, wheelie shoes. Walking is too close to dancing and there's no more dance in me. <laughs> Bish posh. Housekeeper. That's not housekeeping, that's betrayal. I would love to hear more about our guest. Rosa, tell us about your family. I have one. That was way too personal. No one needs to know you have sisters. New topic, the moons of Jupiter. I think I might be pregnant. Oh. Oh. Oh, no. It doesn't hurt that badly. The doctor said all my bleeding was internal. That's where the blood's supposed to be. Are your bosoms tender? I'm gonna pretend that you didn't just ask me that. Are your senses heightened? I think you know what you gotta do. Yeah. Ask her out before the case ends, right? I just want to be extra clear. The stakes are through the roof for me on this one. Okay, so the question I wanted to ask you is... So I got the results on that feces. It's human, but it's not all human. You're not Dr. Gassner? We are not. Can you give us a sec? Sure. Real quick, what was the other... It's dog and bear. I'm not a good cop. I'm an amazing cop and I'll never forgive myself. Jada, where have you been? You left your cell phone on your desk and I assumed you were dead. Mm -hmm. I would clearly be buried with my phone. I had a pretty crazy morning myself. Jake, your taquitos explode in the toaster oven. Thanks, Rosa. When Amy really likes a guy, she gets nervous and tucks her hair behind both ears at the same time. <laughs> well, I can never unsee that. Hey, I got an email from the commissioner's office about our case. What'd they say? <laughs> ah! Ah! You got me with my thing. Mm -hmm. Great. Mid-morning dance party. <laughs> She's dancing even better than normal. Ladies and gentlemen, today is the greatest day of my life. Guess who just got murdered? Guys, I really need this to go well. My girls are on the wait list for their preschool and it's twice as tough to get in with twins. Why don't you just get one of them in and then let them take turns going to school every other day? Yes, that's crazy. I asked my wife and she said no. Hello, Raymond. How do you like my new office? 20th floor. Yes, I never thought I'd see you this high without a broom under you. Okay, just so we're clear, from this point forward, my call sign will be Death Blade. And I'll be Rum Tum Tugger. No, Boyle, no characters from Cats. Dig deep, think of something scary. Adolf Hitler. No! Man, look at the captain. He's pacing slowly. For him, that's like a full-on rage-fueled freakout. Oh, the only thing worse is when he stands perfectly still. Oh, no, he's standing perfectly still. All right, I'm gonna go talk to him. Remember when you told me that you didn't want to date cops? That really bummed me out, man. Jamaican? Yeah, it was a bad choice. I'm much better at German. I'm being forced out of the 9-9. I don't wish to make a big deal of it, so please limit your reactions to one second. Go. Why are you That's plenty. Anyone over the age of six celebrating a birthday should go to hell. Apparently, he's very into bird watching, so talking to a woman should blow his mind. And talking to this woman, it could kill him. We're friends. I was building up to calling you Roro one of these days. That will never happen. In fact, you just lost Rosa privileges. From now on, you can call me Diaz or Hey You. Come on, Rosa. Come on, Hey You. Care to sit? I'm sure you'd like to take some weight off your cloven hooves. Calling me the devil? How original, Raymond. Actually, I was calling you a goat. You goat. <laughs> <laughs> so how was the restaurant? Such a normal time. Why are you being weird? Amy and I kissed. What? To keep our cover from being blown, we didn't have a choice. Show me everything! You and Rosa follow Augustine. Right, and you and Amy follow your hearts. Before we go in, remember, you have to pretend to be surprised. How's this? Oh my god, it's so much worse than I imagined! The energy was great, but the message was flawed. Sir! I'm coming with you. Thank you, Gina. I'm also coming. Not necessary. Efficiency, efficiency. Efficiency. You could probably just say it once. Are you making fun of my stutter? Oh, uh, tricked you. I don't have a stutter. Boom. I've already established my authority through my amazing sense of humor. Rule number two, let's not put labels on it. We're not boyfriend and girlfriend. We're just mermsy and jingle bin. Great. Rule number three, let's not have sex right away. Cool. Cool, 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 
cool, cool, cool, cool, cool. No doubt, no doubt, no doubt, no doubt. Good rule, no sex, good rule. Thanks. You also got a haircut. At some point in your life, I'm sure. That's not your baby hair, that would be crazy. Welcome to the 9-9. I'm Sergeant Terry Jeffers. And I'm not interested. We tried really hard. We made rules. We kept it light and breezy. Light and breezy? Ow! Light and breezy is how you describe a linen pantsuit, not a relationship you care about. No, 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 strike that. I need you morons to work eight times harder than you've ever worked in your entire life! I'm having a heart attack. You bugged the briefing room? No, Scully butt-dialed me yesterday and he still hasn't hung up. Once again, Scully's butt is the downfall of this precinct. Hello, Lieutenant. Real tragic about the captain. Yes, real tragic. I like the way your butt looks today. I've been doing lunges in the shower. Pain. I know we just met, and I don't want to be too forward. Charles. But sometimes you just get a feeling about a person. Charles. I got that feeling about you. I like you. Charles, look down. I think tonight we. Oh, shoot. They just gave me 10 years in prison. You doodled your wedding invitation. No, that's our joint tombstone. My mistake? I'm surprised he hasn't marched in here to say, I told you so. She wouldn't do that. You're right, Amy. For once in your life, you're 100% right. I would never say that. Nice. My dreams are coming true. You and me, get my lady off together. Does Charles have a girlfriend? I just saw her mouth my name. What did she say? Is she asking if I'm circumcised? Next time you see me, I'm gonna be all out of orgasm. No, you can't say that while you're hugging someone. The shriveled husk of Raymond Holt. Look, Gina, is that a talking raisin? Amy's been doing her best to cheer me up. She gave me the sticker this morning just for waking up. Yeah, it's like you're dating your teacher. I know, it's so hot. Did you choose us because we're women? Women love planning parties. It's in the Bible. Where's Brexton O'Reilly? Where's that psycho monster? He's dead. Our condolences. I gotta go. Aren't you forgetting something? Uh... No! Pay your bill! I have never once insulted you in my life, especially vis-a-vis -vis your appearance. Fine. If you're telling the truth, then I sincerely apologize. But since you're not, I will defeat you! You certainly could be useful. Thank you. To Jake! I gotcha, Peralta! You're not fooling anyone! Why does everyone think that's where a camera would be? Because the cleavage cloaks the camera with its curves. I'm not a prostitute. Okay. <laughs> right. Bye-bye, whore. A kiss for my bro. And a kiss for my boo. No. A kiss for my boo? <laughs> and a kiss for my sis. No! I don't want to talk about it. I regret the words we've already spoken. Okay, enough! We're gonna stop fighting, we're gonna lie down, we're gonna triple spoon like grown up. We're both great at this. It's called taxi because it's yellow and it takes you where you need to be. Drug dealers have gotten so creative. It used to just be crack, and then they'd be like, hey, we got a new one, what are we gonna call this? And they'd go, I don't know, crank? You know, once we get it, we'll have to break it in. Oh, I hear what you're saying. Mattress trampoline. Wait, no, you were talking about sex. Yeah. Our only close call was when Jake didn't know who Will Shorts was. Really? Never heard of the Puzzle Master. This is who you want to be with? But before you say anything, yes, we screwed up. And yes, you warned us. And yes, I don't know where I'm going with this, but I do know this. I have reached the end of my sentence. I love this mattress. And it loves having you in it. God? It's Brian. When Kevin and I first started dating, he taught at a small college upstate. It was two hours away by train or bus, but only 30 minutes by car. Is this another one of your riddles? You rode to work on his shoulders, one set of footprints. No. No. Seriously, Charles. I, I, I warned you, I'm Tommy Gobbler, you silly pilgrim. OK, Tommy Gobbler. There you go. These are the Davidsons. They want to know what happened to their missing grandmother? I have some deeply tragic news for you. I would be happy to assist you if you will just admit, Raymond, that you threw my decoy in the garbage. That will never happen, because it's not true. Thank you for nothing. Good day. Hi, would you mind just standing there with your glorious beard for one moment? I'll be right back. You wanna hold it? Oh, um, yeah, sure, that'd be great. The baby Jake. Yeah, right, right, the normal thing. Tell him you threw away his stupid duck. I give him 20 bucks to buy a new one. It costs $740. What? That is an insane price for a duck. That's way too much. You know what I like about our relationship, Jake? We don't talk about our love lives or our families or anything that's on our minds. It's why you're my closest friend in the world. So, samesies. I don't know this word, samesies. 
From context, I believe it means proudly uneducated. Uh, okay, let's talk planets. Jupiter is a gas giant. So is Hitchcock. How does this help me? No, it's cool. I want to tell you his name. Well, okay, just gonna take a quick drink break. Here comes the name. Nope. Uno mas. All righty. Good lord. Putting them away. Have to imagine these belong to someone else. It's fine. Yeah. It's Tom. <gasps> I love it. I wear this cologne, Jake. I'm a stank man. Um, I don't know. Maybe just subconsciously, I wanted Amy to smell more like you. <sighs> You're gonna need a tank top. You could have mine. No need. I snagged this on the way here. Baby girl? Yeah, they didn't have the best selection. I'll probably just skip the tank. Yeah, I will return. Okay, Gina. Oh, what? Are you gonna arrest me for dancing? You call that dancing? Oh. This is dancing. What is happening? I'm defusing the situation. Genevieve and I have big news. Is this something other people would keep private? Oh, my wedding day. I should have known it was a mistake when she said I suppose instead of I do. Do you think that'll work? I don't just think it will. I know it might. Wait, was this your dog that humped everything? Yeah, that's how he died. He was going to town on one of my snow boots, and his little heart just gave out. He didn't even finish. Extreme testicular discomfort. Okay, cool, okay, cool, okay, cool, okay, cool, 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 no cool. doubt. Every time we check one off the list, you're gonna hear this bell. It's the sound of victory. Real men don't cry for more than three days. Sorry, Kim. Can't talk. Need more magnogen. Garibaldi. He's eating snakes. No, it's spaghetti. Go where? Ah, ah, what's on your face? Huh? Oh, right. Uh, yes, my disgusting deformity. Oh my god, I thought I was following her. Yeah, I should probably lie down. Here we go. Case! Um, I think you closed the door too hard. I've only had Arlo for a day and a half. But if anything happened to him, I would kill everyone in this room and then myself. He's gonna be so surprised when he sees me. Hey, Peralta, you made it. What took you so long, brother? Captain, the commissioner called again. He wants to know when crime will be down. And I don't want to overstay my welcome if that's going to stress you out. It will, especially with Mercury in retrograde. But I've decided to rent the apartment to someone else. I smiled at you. For what? If the toilets drain into the ocean, does that mean a tiny shark could swim up and bite me in the butt? No, not at all. So there's this suitcase. I don't care. Yeah. It takes one to know one, man. Come on. I'm Charles. Well, uh oh. Where does the drive in in a car? Destination drug dealer's bar. Pass the mic right over to Charles. We forgot Charles. The Beatsy Boys are finished. If you're going to be part of the group, we need a new name, a name that you're going to come up with. Police pals. OK, decent. A couple options. Not necessary. That's the one. Never heard the printer sound so happy. I feel like it knows. We did it. A new world. This must be how the founding fathers felt. So, what are you doing out here? And yes, I forgot you that one time, but I made up for it. I slapped you in the face. Sir, I had nothing to do with it. I was arresting a dirty cop. I heard you scream out, I love this. Yes, this being justice. I love justice. Thinking of you, best Dr. Kevin Cosner, PhD. He even used their pet names. Stapler. Scissors. Rubber bands. That man really knows me. <laughs> I'm giving my drug bust to Hitchcock and Scully. It's time to get these mice out of their heist. God, that was lame. Life is meaningless. We're all going to die. Mouses out of their houses. Yes, I am the greatest. Every breath is a gift. Sorry about the roller coaster. I'm just happy I'm tall enough to ride. Man, I already ate. I guess I'll just have a cheeseburger deluxe, a couple slices of pie, maybe an egg cream. Okay. And a waffle. If you get killed, what happens to all your debt? 
loophole. Just make sure you take it easy. Uh, sir, I was 20 minutes late for work today. I don't think you need to tell me about taking it easy. Are you bragging about being a bad employee? No. Dismissed? Me? Are you sure? You're not our most dynamic screen presences. I can be dynamic. Exclamation point. Our Diaz and I have that kind of easy chemistry where we finish each other's sentences. Please, don't interrupt me. Welcome to the 9-9. I'm Captain Raymond Holt. And I'm Detective Rosa Diaz. I don't understand why I'm on a wheelchair. Would you tell the sky to stop being so blue? Yes, I wish it were tan. Oh, don't worry about me. I'll be invisible. Now you see me. Yeah, we need to. Oh, oh, yeah. Don't call me, we're cool. We're cool. Everything's still cool. He didn't hear me. Welcome to the 9-9. I'm Captain Raymond Holt. And I'm Detective Rosa Diaz. Here. Yeah. Bonjour, Captain. Voulez-vous coucher avec moi? No, I don't want to sleep with you. Is that what that means? Oh, man, I had a really gross tennis instructor. What's going on? I can hear your lips moving. Are you guys kissing? Oh, I should have known I was going to lose Charles. He's so pocket-sized. He could be hidden anywhere. Jake, we need to focus on Cheddar. Charles is a grown man. He can take care of himself. No, he's not. He's a Charles, all right? And he's blind. Oh, God, he's probably already dead. Right? So let's not waste any resources on him. OK. How's everybody feeling? Anyone else have the weird urge to lecture themselves? Peralta, what are you doing? Peralta, what are you doing? Captain Holt! No, he can't hear me. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Wow, that was weird. I said, like, multiple real things consecutively. Mm. Yeah. Felt weird, but good. Are you proud of me? Adults don't care about their birthdays. You came to work last year on a horse. You have the right to remain silent. You have the right to an attorney. I wished that you would leave. Damn it, I shouldn't have said it out loud. Now it won't come true. Please back that tape up. No! Objection! On what grounds? That's my penis? Overruled. She's very good at lip reading. I wouldn't say I'm very good. I mean, deaf people, they're the real talents. Just can't stop. I'll let you guys talk. I'll just close my eyes. I wonder why people don't just break into song more often. I've been asking you for months if I could answer the phone like, Give it a whirl, girl. Now we're doing this really hot thing where we haven't told each other where we live. Makes our sex play really erotic. Barf. I know that your spirit animal is a caterpillar that's been stepped on, mm -hmm. but- <gasps> Are you threatening me, Chuck? No, I'm not, sir. I just want to tell you how welcome you are to stay with me forever and ever and ever, my lord. Down, down, get down, NYPD! Uh-oh. What are you doing, man? Nothing. I have high cholesterol. My wife says I cannot have red meat, so they sneak in my beefs, too. Please don't shoot. I worked at a sunglass kiosk at the mall for four years, so not only have I been through hell, I was assistant manager there. You follow. I'll cut him off in the alley. OK, wait. You want to get married? Yep. Battle axe. Uppercut. Disembowelment. Guys, I was a baby. My first word was dada. Drink. Uh -huh. <laughs> I was burning my fingerprints off in a gas station bathroom when I thought about what Jake said. I couldn't leave without seeing you one last time. <sighs> I want to lick your whole body clean like a kitty cat. Yeah, I'm going to give you two a little space. They grow up so fast. We're going to get her to come to you. Yeah, try and spread the word that you've got to connect on the outside that gives you access to contraband. Cigarettes, burner phones. Pornography. I mean, women don't watch. They do. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. Huh. Yeah. Well, that's an exciting revelation for me. I always thought it would be funny to kill somebody at a funeral. <laughs> also, you're going to have to play the grieving fiancé. What? So you may not be sad, but you're going to need to look it. Fine. Boo-hoo. He has a scar on his hand. Oh, this is a long shot, but if his name is Joe, could we call him Scar Joe? Scar Joe. Never heard that before. I like it. We'll use it. No, we just all came in here separately and then started chatting. You know, breezy stuff. The Bachelor's of Television show, Andre Agassi's at it again. I, too, am avoiding gluten. I'm very sorry for your loss. Get some. Memento's dead. Thanks for coming. It appears to be rifling through. 
Clown Boobies magazine. <laughs> Good job. Can you do it without screaming? Pra bub Lee. You're a genius. Well, I'd love to take credit, but the truth is, life just isn't that hard. When I die, please give Kevin my regards. What shall I tell him? Regards. There's a million ways to get out of a hospital unnoticed. Name one. Dress up like babies. What? Will you put me on the spot? What about me? What if something happens to Jake and he never gets to meet my baby? I don't want to hang out with some stupid baby who's never met Jake. Huh? Oh, now, Sal, you know I'm still getting over the tragedy loss of my wife. She was such a strong female woman with nice, heavy breasts. <laughs> no, 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 no. Don't eat the burrito. Oh, disgusting. Greg, where did you go to college? Ohio State, where I majored in. Communications. Derek. Derek. Again. Have you posted that video to the internet? Not yet. Ran out of data on my phone because of all the porn I watched. We don't know each other. You could have just said you were out of data. That's all you have to say to me? Yeah, I think we're good. So nobody's going to ask me how I'm doing? Oh, I didn't think this was a personal conversation. It's not. Turn back around and watch the movie. The marshal is letting me write a one-page letter to Jake, which she will read to him and then set on fire. Is there anything you guys want me to write? But well, we don't have any money. Oh, my God. I'm the bribe, aren't I? You're not the bribe. Why? What's wrong with my body? Uh, didn't you have to pass the exams? Like, wasn't there, like, an interview where they, they met you and heard you speak? Presumably. So how do you like your ammo? By the box or by the bucket? Cool, 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 cool. Our country is broken. What? Uh, Question three. Uh, you said you had somewhere important to go. So where exactly is that? Dinner date. Dinner date. That's what mine says as well. Sorry about the handwriting. Gina colon. Hey, Amy, what did one graphing calculator say to the other one? Amy colon what? Gina colon. Why does this said lady own, own two of us? That's, that's it. <laughs> hey, Amy. Yep. Oh, so much drier than I would have thought. Did I want it to be wet? Jake. Right, sorry. Well, they started kissing, which I'm fine with, really. I am. Kiss whoever you want. Except they were both men. You know, oh, God, what if it doesn't go well? We haven't seen each other in a while, and what if it's weird? Oh, keep going, keep going. You're doing so well. Nine-nine. Nine-nine! Chills, you guys. Literally chills. Excuse me, ma'am. This dolly's being used. A broccoli che visto? It's being used. Quanti era la vita la bella? Tutto matro l'amante? Just bring it back when you're done. Oh, garbanzo, marinara, pizzeria, ristorante. Ah! I want to lick the skin off your body, baby. Oh, that side's for me. I want to rip the skin off your body, Jimmy. But isn't Gina Linetti more of a state of mind? Like, in a way, we were all Gina Linetti today. Gina? Let's take this Gina to the hospital. At one point, I think I forgot where the tip of me ended and the base of the tips began. Before we just chop them off, would anybody like to say some final words? No. That was one word that counts. Thank you, Rosa. Okay, I'm ready. A little welcome back to the precinct hazing. Who's behind this cute little prank? Diaz? Kill yourself. Okay. How about some tunes? But could you actually run the DNA for us first? Kind of feels like you're prioritizing work over our friendship because I barely know you. Fine, message received. Proving once and for all that absolutely nothing has changed. Oh! Well, I thought you were pooping. I wish you were pooping. I wish to God. I'm sorry. Oh, Rosa, crying. Don't know what to do. Pat, Pat, this feels wrong. Why is no one having a good time? I specifically requested it. Police. OK, then name one law. Don't kill people. That's on me. I set the bar too low. Peralta hasn't won since the first year. He's a has-been. Yeah, well, this has-been has been with yo mama all week. Sorry, I feel like I crossed a line. I apologize. <coughs> Attention, everyone. Enough. We know the heist is happening. No! My ex-wife just died. No more alimony, baby! You and Santiago should quit now. I'm going to stomp on your dreams. It's fun to see you so passionate. I will slit you both open from mouth to anus and wear you like jackets. Huh. Am I just a piece of meat to you? Yes. Now put on a smile, pork chop. Voila. Of course, you could break the window, but you would never knowingly destroy government property, would you? Whoops. Well, misread that one. Gina, skate! Skate like the wind! Ah! This 
is your doing, you and your male prostitute. Bill is not a male prostitute, I don't think. Made sure I didn't remember that. It was minute five of seven minutes in heaven with Todd Cohen when he bumped the wall and the bowling ball fell on my face. Maybe I just wasn't at that party. Ooh, Gina's got jelly beans. Pimento? No. Bad. Sorry, Gina. Mm. You're right, the marriage is cursed. What? No, you weighed in wrong. I'm sorry, Jake, it's an omen, and I'm not taking your side against the universe as it's hundreds of years old. Does that upset you? I'm good. Yeah, I'm good. I'm so sad. I love her so much. I want to marry her butt so bad. To Genevieve's butt. To Genevieve's butt. I lost my V-card to the woman that refilled Nana's oxygen tank. They could always get divorced. People love getting divorced. My parents got divorced, and all I did was scar our family for years and years. A balloon arch. Oh my god, Captain. She is magnificent. Vindication! Be myself. What kind of garbage advice is that? Oh, hang on. You carry a checkbook with you? Of course. You never know when you're gonna need groceries. And the Barracuda is gonna... What? Anyway, you get it. Gina's the one who set them free. How was I supposed to know there'd be consequences for my actions? A sloppy, disorganized, irresponsible individual who's not allowed within 500 feet of Taylor Swift. That was a misunderstanding. You're not good enough for my Amy. I don't want my only daughter dating a screw-up. Oh, yeah, well, I don't want my only girlfriend daughtering a jerk dad. The Beagle's been eliminated. Our dog is in the top three. <laughs> One third, if you don't, the probability locks in when you make the choice. We've been over this eight times. Seven times. Now you can't even do simple addition. Kevin is right. You're fired. Do I have to teach you college level statistics? I don't know. Do I have to teach you high school statistics? Do I have to teach you eighth grade statistics? Do I have to teach you seventh grade statistics? Do I have to teach you? It's not about the math. They haven't seen each other because of the night shift. They just need a bone. What? Gross, Rosa. Those are our dads. I mean, that's not what I think. Captain Dad is just my boss. Wow. Never mind. I'm teaching Father the math. You two just need a bone. <laughs> what did you say? Don't say it again. I said you two need a bone. How dare you, Detective Diaz? I am your superior officer! Bone! What happens in my bedroom, Detective, is none of your business. Bone! Don't ever. Speak to me like that again. I need Santiago, it's all good. So the fight with Kevin is over? Yep. Because you understand the math now? Nope. Because you guys... Yep. Knew it. See, what happened is your dad's had sex. Okay, Rosa. Bullets Over Broadway was on TV. I came down with a big old Diane Weist infection. Like, yeast. Okay, well, Jacinta's got to go. He didn't mean that, darling. You think that disapproving glare works on me after all the times I've seen it? Step it up, find something new. You're boring. <laughs> Not to brag, but I was name-checked in my kindergarten teacher's suicide note. This is Nicolaj's first Christmas because the orphanage kept canceling it. Once it was blizzards, once it was fires, and once it was... Famine. That's right, famine. Huh. Hey, let's review our simple harmonies. When I point at you, hit your note. Love! Okay, that was horrible. I know, I felt like a superhero, like the Hulk's mom. Why the mom? But you know what? We're the Nine-Nine, and nothing can stand in our way. She's right, we're gonna beat their butts tonight. Oh, tonight? Tonight, tonight? Yeah, I can, I have Hamilton tickets. I say we do it, and I'm the boss. Therefore, meeting adjourned. <sighs> I told you, Jake, I'll do anything to perk up my little man. You know what I realized when I saw you standing over there in your underwear? That my butt is like a sexy piece of drywall? What? A one, a two, a one, two, three. Dashing, Dashing through the snow in a one horse opus. I didn't kill my wife. What? No, you're supposed to go, I don't care. I don't care. Let the manhunt begin. Arson, kidnapping, racketeering, assault and battery, forgery and counterfeiting, triple homicide. Woo! What? I'm not excited about the murders. I'm excited about the chance to avenge them. You guys are the weird ones. Take a look at this map of the world. You just keep one of those on you? Of course, in case I ever need to prove my point in an argument. I was in the middle of negotiating and he was about to give up. Tell him, guy. No, I was probably gonna kill him and let you kill me. Oh my God. Well, I should have been way more scared. Where were you born?
What are you miming there, sir? A child tying his tie. Uh huh. I, I'm trying to do a simple half Windsor so she knows I'm a baby. Really? I love you too. Oh my God, what a beautiful moment. And you guys, Amy's ovulating as we speak. Oh, that's just my former lover. Hello, sister. Then why was she running? Because a strange guy started following me to the bathroom. Right, because men are horrible and the world is a nightmare, yeah. I disabled the FM function from the radio. The guy said, oh, you can just not use it. But I said, ugh, I'll always know it's there. You know, a lot of people like the way I text. Look, if you can't accept me for who I am, then I don't need this chain. Okay, great. No, 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 I need to be included so badly. I'll do whatever you say. I literally have zero pride. <laughs> Gertie! What? Uh, that was French for... I gotta make a... I feel like I'm a terrible cop. <sighs> wow, I really thought you were gonna chime in with something supportive there. We have to go. <sighs> Captain! You're a good cop. Even if you are a thirsty-ass bitch. Wow. Okay. S solved a pretty intense murder and just crap all over me. And I met God. Tight. What does she look like? Ethnically ambiguous. Uh, if you excuse me, uh, Sergeant Wells, we need to go to the BRB. It's BRB time. We're BRB. -ing. Maybe you can figure out the manual. It's in Japanese. I can try, but the only thing I really remember how to say is, do you have a bigger door I can enter through? Bring me solutions, not problems. Now, what do we... Can't even tell I was hit by a bus. That's how independent I am. Amy. When the opportunity presents itself to flip at a table, oh, you flip at a table. It works! <laughs> I've never been more proud of you for anything in your life. I mean, I've solved a lot of cases for you. And yet crime has continued. Amy, I'm still in love with you. What? 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 Uh-oh. A skip is cop scoop. This is super uncomfortable. OK, the plan is clear. Sarge, you divorce Sharon, abandon your children, get back together with that monster. The precinct is saved. I'm not leaving my family. Come on, you don't even consider it. I'm on vacation. You? Vacation. 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 While we're on the subject of, um, things. Desperate times call for desperate housewives. What? Measures. I said measures. Also, Gary said that the studio approved us as producers. I'm having my agent look over the paperwork. OK, fine, I don't have an agent. I'm using my parents' divorce attorney. He's my uncle. He was disbarred. Well, while you were off in fantasy land, I solved the case. Wait a minute, Rosa? From now on, the only black male I want anything to do with is you. And telling me how much you hate my show. And scene. And that was a great example of a cop making a mistake. That's the kind of thing we can go over more when I come in on Monday for my first day of work. We're burdened with the little thing we like to call evidence, of which you don't have a shred. We found Cassie's laptop in the trunk of your car. I stand corrected. Yeah, you got me. I did it. Good job. Uh, you just drank cement. You just drank cement. When people say good morning, they mean hello. When people say how are you, they mean hello. When people say what's up, they mean I am a person not worth talking to. It's almost 8.30. We're gonna get into position. Okay, thanks, Marv. Are you guys crying? I said thanks, thanks Marv. Marv! Who wore it best? Who wore it best? Who wore it best? Terry. Terry. What? Come on! You should change, Boyle. <sighs> Not here. I'm supposed to pick up Cagney and Lacey from daycare in 30 minutes, but I have to stay late to work on my application I just got from home. They're six. They can take the subway. Rosa, that's crazy. They're babies. Terry, just call them an Uber. Where the hell is Moo Moo? Oh, no. I think Terry has a child named Moo Moo, and we forgot to pick her up. Uh, then we figured out how to be good parents. TV and cake. TV and cake were my parents. <laughs> it's okay. Cagney can't sleep without Moo Moo. And if Cagney doesn't sleep, Lacey doesn't sleep. And if Cagney and Lacey don't sleep, Terry doesn't sleep. No, Jake doesn't live. Oh my God. Then I don't want to be a woman. Me neither. You don't have to be if that's who you are. You know what? That's a whole other conversation. So what are you going to do? Slash his tires? You shouldn't do that. But just out of curiosity, what kind of car does he drive and where does he park it? Oh, and one more thing. I love you. I love you too, Jake. Ah, oh, come on, Jake. Just explain the deep-rooted institutionalized racism that remains pervasive in this country to this day. Gina, they're children. I'll put it in a song, Jake. Watch this. Racism, racism, hang racism. Up. Gina, I'm gonna hang racism, up. Racism, baby. It's a great song. I'm hanging up. Sergeant Jeffords. That's right. It's me, Sergeant Jeffords from the precinct. I'm the guy whose damn complaint you don't want to submit, and I can't think of one damn reason why. Everyone, this is Sergeant Jeffords. Hi. OK. Well, that wasn't so bad. <laughs> well, if you guys have any other questions, 
We're here for you. What's your orgasm? Come on! Wait a minute, what's going on here? You guys planning a party? What? No, we were just debating our favorite parts of the conference. He likes his Q&As moderated. I like mine unmoderated. Why is that? I just, I'm just sick of them. I'm concerned that my presentation isn't uh, jazzy enough to compete with Jeffrey's. He's such a showman. Yeah. I'm uh, thinking about augmenting the graphs with, um, color. Sir. I know, I'm debasing myself. Oh, no. This is how it starts. It's Skynet all over again. Here, let's wait here a second and see if our future selves show up and tell us to destroy it. Nope, looks like we're in the clear. It's kind of cute. So how's Kevin? How's Cheddar? Come on, tell me everything. Kevin is fine. Cheddar is a dog. He has no concept of good or bad. Okay, but in my defense, Rosa bet me 50 cents that I couldn't drink all that shampoo. That's not what I wanted to. You drank shampoo? What? No. You're the one farting bubbles. You're going to ace this test. You think that because you love me and love has made you dumb. I disagree. If anything, love has made me smarter. Remember last week when I boiled that egg? That was big. I was really proud of you. If you were Amy, where would you be right now? Oh, a uh, boring pantsuit store, a crossword factory, a museum of retainers and headgear. Is it possible to enter the color beige? Stop dancing. Stop dancing. This is a direct order. Stop dancing. Interesting. The odds of that happening coincidentally are vanishingly small. I would say infinitesimally. Yes, and I would say teenily weenily. We all know words. You're annoying my mother. Are you blind? We're vibing like crazy. I assure you, my mother's not a vibrator. Definitely not what that's short for. You need to do that. Be the Jake in the conversation. You want me to just say, Kawabunga, Mom? Oh, yes, that would be awesome. Well, it's not gonna happen. Alas, we are not Kawabunga people. Stupid criminals have no respect for the people trying to bust them. Yeah, I really wish you'd show up. I gotta go to the bathroom so bad. It's like a third time today, man. What is going on with you? Oh, Amy freaked out because I told her I never drink water, so now she's making me drink eight glasses a day. It's like there's water and soda, there's water and coffee, there's little pools of water on pizza. Amy! Someone lost your pen, girl. Gina, you better be joking. That pen is my best friend, and I will straight it is up. Captain Hull. Oh, that's fine. It's just a pen. It's just a pen. <laughs> Why would you drink more? My brain wants its fast juice. Stop it! Stop it! Stop it right now! But he won't let me yeah, have my last yeah. Santiago, you did it! And I am so sick of you playing your damn classical music in your office all day. It's too loud. We can all hear it. Okay, well, this is. You shut your mouth when I'm talking to you. Santiago. Right, too far. I'm sorry. This is all very new for me. Good boys. Stay. Stay, stay. Eat it. God, I'm gonna make a great dad someday. Ah, she really doesn't. One time I broke my arm and she didn't even ask me what happened and it was a really funny story. <laughs> wow, now nobody's asking what happened? This is insane. Well, listen, we need your help. Great, who are we killing? I won't do kids, that's a rule. But that rule is negotiable if the kid's a dick. We don't know no secret, you be crazy. I always talk like this down at Kokomo. You wanna come? You know it, but I should probably warn you. Me and Rosa go pretty hard. Great. Bring some Coke. Oh, so you mean hard, hard. <laughs> okay, sweet. Sweet, 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 Cocaine. Cocaina. No. No? You got this. Charles, you're... In a wheelchair. Yep. My back gave out when I was dying my pubes. Now what I'm picking up on is just a genuine moment of friendship and respect. And now I'm feeling like... You wish I would stop analyzing you because I'm ruining the moment. But you guys are so cute and I love you. What's going on with your hair? Well, it turned white from this dress, but I didn't want you to worry, so I dyed it back to my normal color with a splash of a tally. Do you like it? So how's my case? You going? need to be reminded that you're more than just a number, Rosa. You are Rosa. Rosa? Yep, that fixes prison. Motorcycles are death machines. I have three kids. I'm not risking it. Are you saying my life matters less because I don't conform to society's heteronormative, child-centric ideals? Are you really playing the gay card right now? Yeah, queen. Oh, queen! And I'm just super excited to join, what do you guys call it again? ISIS. ISIS. Cool. Well, I'm excited to join ISIS. How anti-Semitic is he? Average? But that's not how we usually do things around here. Sure, but you know what else you didn't used to do around here? Sprinkle on good noodles on top of your own. You can lock me up. 
But one day I'll get out of here and I'll come for you. I'll come for all of you. Hey, Warden, what's up? You keep talking about her thigh gap. That's my favorite part of a woman. There's nothing more intoxicating than the clear absence of a penis. Okay. No big deal. Five days is nothing. I'm not afraid to be alone with my thoughts. My thoughts are awesome. Die Hard 6 on a cruise ship, pizza bagel restaurant, my father never loved me and I'm gonna die alone. Oh boy, that happened fast. Guard! I can't believe you saved my life. I would not do it again. It really hurt. Yeah, but you did do it. And I regret it so much. I mean, shoes are on wallpaper, laminated flooring, crown molding. Ooh, my friend Charles loves crown molding. He says if it doesn't have the crown, you got to vote it down. Are you on drugs? Yes, and you should too, you know? Get on my level, because quite frankly, we are not on the same wavelength at egg. It wasn't that traumatic. You just said, and I quote, prison real bad. Or does it show everything? Ooh. Sorry, not sorry. It was just a stupid pencil. It was a gift from my deceased father. A pencil? Your dad gave pretty bad gifts. <laughs> Although, on the other hand, all my dad ever gave me was abandonment issues, so potato, tomato. Rosa was happy to comply. So what, now I'm just supposed to do anything that Rosa does? I mean, what if she jumped off a cliff? If Rosa were to jump off a cliff, she would have done her due diligence regarding the height of the cliff, the depth of the water, and the angle of entry. So, yes, if you see Rosa jump off a cliff, by all means, jump off a cliff. You jump off a cliff. Gladly. Provided Rosa did first. Humble five? You know it. Uh, I couldn't possibly. You let Morris Richmond go? Single tampon? Good luck. I'm already dressed. Well, I'm also dressed. And I made breakfast. Wait, where are my eggs? In my belly. Ah! OK, so let's get the paperwork started. First things first, you are not allowed to have any of this reviewed by an attorney. Where is my dog? Aren't you standing right next to him? This bitch? Please. D did you just? Mm-hmm. And did you say? Mm-hmm. <sighs> but you're a virgin. That's an order. I don't want to be a virgin again. Now, Terry, come over here and dangle me off the edge of this building. Sir, I am not going to dangle you off the side of this building. You're fired. Peralta, let me climb on your shoulders. I can't. You're fired. Glad you get your money back. You can invest it in something you actually believe in instead of my balls. Hello, Dan Daniel Valdano. Guess what? You're a dick! Hey, my kids love that horse. Your kids need help wiping their butts, Sarge. They're not exactly geniuses. About that. Wait, what's wrong? Something's wrong. That's the look my mom gave me right before she told me that my dad left. Oh, God. Did my dad leave my mom again? How do you know my mom and dad? Jean, we have to show you something. No! A penis? Why? Yep, should have explained it first. Jake. Hair! We all have hair. I just didn't want you guys to know what a horrible dad I really am. Well, now we do. Drinking just makes people get along better. Do you think if I got my parents drunk every day when I was a kid, they would have stayed together and we would have had a happy family? Probably. Right? Your husband's on the phone. He wants to know how long you're going to kiss for tonight. Where were you going? Why would you leave that windowless supply closet we locked you in? Ah, yes. Hearing it, I understand why. That is incredibly careless. I know, and it means we won't receive our certification, and I'm okay with that. Unless my honesty No, has, it's off the table. And I'm okay with that. This is the space where, even though it's not really evident in the dialogue, you can tell John McClane realizes he should have been a better husband to Holly Gennaro. Take my picture with it. Is it all just a lie? Is there even a commissioner's meeting? Are you even Captain Holt? Do you even have a dog named Cheddar? There's a commissioner's meeting, and I do have a dog named Cheddar. No wonder everyone was flipping us off. I thought it was just racism. <sighs> I love you, Dapton. Dapton. It's a cool new way of saying Captain. It's from the world of hip hop. Love you. We got a hot purple alert. Bam, 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 bam. That's a handsome man. Ooh, I'd like to bring that guy to justice. We all would. But unfortunately, police cornered him and he shot himself in the face. All right, thank you for that shockingly dark update. Bye, Rosa. I mean, not bye, but bye. I mean, see ya. I mean, have fun only having sex with men, just banging dudes left and right. I am bye. Damn. That was. And I know this may come as a shock to you, but it's my truth. So I hope you can accept that. Jake. Maybe you still see me as your little girl, but I'm a woman now. Whoa, no, germs. We just you seem nervous, why? Uh, global warming. What a bitch, right? Great, now that you've accepted our meat pile, perhaps you'll help us to restore our internet. Sure, I can definitely help with that. Mm. How many KBPSs are you looking for? Many? Yeah, that's not an answer. I need an exact number. 100. Too few, too many. Four. I want you to come to make up for how awkward dinner was. Oh, fantastic. I'm still involved. Hello.
is Kyle. Is he on a roller coaster? Yes, it's his driver's license photo somehow. I need a private place where I could pump. I was thinking maybe I could take this whole floor and you guys could move down to that place where we park. The garage? Sure, if you think that works. <laughs> Top of the morning to ya. Oh no, what's wrong? Why do you always assume something's wrong when I come in here? Couldn't I be bringing you good news? Are you? No, something's terribly wrong. Where were you? Uh, just so we're on the same page. How long have you been here? I.e., how elaborate does my lie need to be? But unfortunately, you've made me a better person. I think we have to help Kyle. Good. I'm proud of you. Oh. Yeah, I'm sorry, I just said you're proud of me. That's my tear trigger. <laughs> Hello, Kevin. It's me, Raymond Holt. All this room to work in. Your hand can be seen from the living room window. You just killed Kevin. Raymond. I can't hear you, Kevin. You're dead. Fun fact, the average American marriage lasts fewer than two days. That's not true. It doesn't have to be. It's commentary. I bought a bundle of novelty shirts at a nearby gift shop. This one says, what's up, beaches? Instead of bitches, for humor reasons. But you hate humor. Well, I'm a joke now, so it suits me. I'm just thinking about how this sea bass is cold but not as cold and cruel as the hands of fate that have thrust my entire life into darkness. We're safe. We're all to Santiago. I'm in your room. What? How? The patio door was open. I pushed through the hedge. Damn it, Gina! What does it look like I'm doing? I'm trying to unlock your phone using a mask of your face so I could find out why your mom left my dad. Charles, give me my phone. OK, fine. Boom! Unlocked it! Yep. But I thought your <laughs> no longer made Woo -oh. Correct. My testes no longer make sperm. Gina Linetti spaghetti confetti. Gina Linetti spaghetti confetti. Faster. Gina Linetti spaghetti confetti. Captain Holt! Uh, yeah, can't you see we're in the middle of something? I'm too nice. I let every random jerk suckle at the teeth of my human kindness. Oh, if they have your phone, then we can track where they're going. I have find my phone set up to track you. What, I do that for all my friends, not just you. Show me. There's no time. Oh, thank God. My wife and my dad are here. I mean, Captain Dad. I mean, I know who my dad is. It's you. Hi, Amy. Can't wait to see everyone we graduated with and lie to them about what I've been up to for my own amusement. Yes, I love it. Why learn to grow when you can fix the past? This is exactly why I don't need therapy. I'm handing in my two weeks notice. But I do know the names. I've simply rebranded them. My queen is Rihanna, my king is Beyonce, and this little guy is Kevin. Would you be willing to murder Kevin, the love of your life? Yes, just Kevin means nothing to me. You think I carry around my own wallet? <laughs> <laughs> nothing bad ever happens to me. I have a crystal in my pocket at all times. What about when you got hit by that bus? That bus was going 60 miles per hour. And here I sit before you completely fine. And you want to say crystals don't work? Gina, since you're leaving, I'd like to make a toast. <sighs> Bye. So you know what? Call daddy. Daddy will get us in. Daddy, the man won't let us into the club. Oh. Yes, daddy. No, daddy, no. Daddy wants to speak with you. Gladly. Hello, daddy. Yes, daddy. No, daddy. Daddy. And yet? Checkmate. That was completely illegal. That's not at all how the queen moves. That's how this queen moves. Checkmate. It's against the rules of chess. Well, Gina Linetti done reinvented the game. Uh, I'm supporting your overall career decision. I'm on board, but you can't assign uh, but, 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 but. No, I wanted to make sure Holt was familiar with my filing system. I didn't want to leave him in the dark. There are no dividers. It's just a big pile of loose papers. <laughs> Thank you so much, you've been a great audience. I mean, it's a funeral, that's psychotic. I'm so sorry. Bastard, you tricked me. Now give me a hug, I'm so happy you're alive. I'll never forgive you, you're my best friend. Whew, I just went through a lot of emotions real fast, but I think I'm back to normal now. Should we get lunch? My goodness, did Mother Gothel finally let you out of the tower to see the lanterns that fly for your birthday? You delivered food to the guy in this apartment at 6.40 p.m. on Sunday, and within the hour, he was murdered. What? How? That's horrible. Don't worry, we're definitely gonna catch the guy who did it, I promise. Stop promising people. Nah. I always forget how weirdly numb to horrific things we are. You think it affects our souls and the relationships we build with others? The answer is in this room. We just have to focus and let the room speak to us. Isn't that right, room? When you talk to the room, I lose even more confidence in you. Why? I'm just working. What is wrong with you? Hello, Jake. Yeah, hello, Mrs. Diaz, America's favorite mother. Drum roll, please. That's your drum roll. When a tempo isn't specified, any reasonable person would default to lento. Would you like to go to the barrel making exhibit this evening? Yes, Captain Holt, I can make time for that. I need a shower.
You can call me Raymond. Captain Raymond Holt. I don't think that's such a good idea. You're right. Too much. That should never have happened. Agreed. Wait, what? Did something just happen? I've been standing here the whole time. What did I miss? What did I miss? What did I miss? Thanks, Sergeant. That's a nice thought for an idiot to have. Amy's just upset because the historically entrenched patriarchy has created a culture of victim shaming that suppresses any power shift in our masculophallic system. Huh? Detective Hitchcock is set to testify in court this afternoon. It's an important case, and I'd rather not get another call from the DA saying he showed up, quote, covered in condiments, unquote. So you want me to keep Hitchcock from spilling on himself for the rest of the day? We both know that's impossible. I'm counting on you. I won't do it. There's nobody else I trust. What you're asking is insane. I'm not asking. It's a suicide mission. Then prepare for death. You hey, Scully, did you know that Amy is super cool? No way. Can I get your autograph, ma'am? Kevin and I went to a dinner party where we played the French parlor game Charades. I had to act out Elvis Presley. Everybody say, possession with intent to distribute. Hey. Oh. Ah, David, hi there. That was unrelated to your recent arrest for possession with intent to distribute. So what you're saying is you're not addicted to cocaine. Amy, it's me. I don't even drink coffee. I have too much respect for my body. This is water. And another thing, I know enough Spanish to understand what idiota means. And another thing, when you say I have an interesting nose, I know you mean big. We should go on a month-long couples vacation. You, Amy, me, and my dad. Yeah, yeah, fine, whatever. Please. Nicolaj is my sex result. Oh, yeah? Well, I walk your sex result to school every morning. He hates bugs. Too many eyes and legs. Would you still hate bugs if I told you that there were thousands of tiny mites that live in your eyebrows and that keep them from being weighed down by oils? Yes! This is New York. It's never obvious where the bathroom is. I once had an apartment where the toilet was literally in the refrigerator. Mm. Hey, so you don't by any chance need any molly, do you? I'm a cop. And scene. Now I am out of character, and I don't sell any drugs. Oh, that was actually very funny. I didn't know what was happening, and then I thought I knew what was happening, but what I thought I knew was happening wasn't what was happening. It's very good. I think I'm gonna make an appointment with a shrink. Jake, that is so great. And I know a guy who's really good. You will love having him inside of you. Just tell him I need supervision. I've spent the last six years building up a reputation as an irresponsible goof for this very moment. That is ridiculous. Holt respects you. Does he, though? Hello, you've reached the office of Raymond Holt. I can come to the phone right now. Oh, hey, sir. I'm just here at the hospital with Jake, and I think he could use some... Oversight? Agreed. So let me get this straight. All that water park money I've been saving, you want to spend it on kids now? That's all you prepped? Yeah, I just searched my heart and then wrote down how I was feeling. I'm gonna eat you alive, you dumb son of a bitch. Cool. Still can't get you to understand the importance of being punctual. Maybe you should just give up and accept me for who I am? No, I will break you right now. Ow. Sir, tell him our plan of action. Clues. Say, I am Raymond Holt and my brain is rock hard. My brain shouldn't be hard. If anything, I'll say, I am Raymond Holt and my brain is soft and wet. You did what, Diaz? No, sir, I told her it was okay. If you're gonna be mad at anyone, be mad at me. Okay, I am mad at you. What? No, I didn't think you were really gonna be mad. It's that backfired. It's be mad at Rosa. She bailed on your birthday drink. Wasn't that fun? She was a no-show at your secret Santa party. Christmas is overrated. She hasn't called you in months. I'm not that interesting. Timothy Chalamet, shimmy ya, shimmy ye. Timothy Chalamet, shimmy ya, shimmy ye. Tina, please look at me! It's such a classic Boyle trait not to recognize talent. My cousin Susan didn't know she could sing until her late 40s. You know, you can't spell independent without dependent. And you can't spell go f yourself without f you. The only thing you won last heist was a lifetime of mediocre heterosexual intercourse with Jake. How dare you? No one thinks you won last year. Squirt more lube and help me yank. Cumberbund was already in the living room. What's next? A rusty medical bracelet suspended above our bed? Yes! I'll Move his podium a foot to the left. What? He'll be so angry. Okay, five inches. Five? Three? Three. One? One? All right, I'll move it a half inch. Fine. It's your funeral. Oh, my God. I wanted him to fail, and I took it out on you, and for that, I am very... Oh, you kind of trailed off there, sir. Were you going to finish your sentence? It felt like you were going to say you were sorry. I did. Boyle heard it. Uh, I would remember if someone said my catchphrase. You guys, it... The podium is. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> you're crazy! How did you pull this off? Well, it's time to put that aside and pull out whatever food you eat when you're happy. Dry beans? Sure. Now I know why you refer to this as a suicide squad, Peralta, because I already want to kill myself. Oh, I love seeing these glimpses of domestic Peraltiago. Now kiss. No. You don't do it enough. You do it all the time, just not in front of you. It's been a year! I got nothing else going on. Aren't you supposed to be getting ready to transfer to Staten Island? Uh, that's not real. It's pretty real last week. That's before I decided to pretend it wasn't. I'm in denial. I'm going to write this down so I remember my lines. I can see that you already have the word milk written on your hand. I know where this is going. Milk! Milk! She's agreed to rejoin the Suicide Squad. Oh, goody gumdrops. Sir! Oh, no. Is he mad? I can't see anything. Did he storm out? No, I stormed in. To tell you it was a great play and nice work, Peralta. Even me. She's serving my favorite dessert. Carrots. You were the one who said he spent every day in prison dreaming of the day we'd meet again. So I can prove to you I'm changed. You said you put something extra in my food. Love. She may seem perfect, but I guarantee you there's a butt. And I'm going to find that butt and drill down on it. Come on, man. You have to know how that sounds. Shut up, cool Charles. I hate this new dynamic. What are you talking about? That's how I always walk, bitch. Let's roll. So, you still annoyed? Yes. You can't keep saying mischief managed after we finish sex. Everybody knows the skull is the hammer of the body. Yeah, that's not true. What? Really? Should I go over here? No, why would you go over there? I don't know! Who's got two stinky thumbs that stink like rotten salmon? This stinky guy. You're still pretty irresponsible. You're just saying that because you're my wife. I need you to find whoever did this and kill them. So they're dead. I read the entire Urban Dictionary so I could converse with the other uniformed officers. Finished it in 47 minutes. I've never been so attracted to a gay man before, and I dated several in college. This cake is for a gay wedding. The inside is a rainbow. Nuh-uh. It's my favorite flavor. All the flavors. The only muscle I care to work out is my brain. Then get your reps in and make your brain pop. Pop, 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 pop. What you're describing is an aneurysm. This is a test, and we're failing because we're not studying hard enough. Or maybe this is just... One of those tests that you can't study for. <laughs> oh, wow, that's a new laugh. Any French philosophy post-Rousseau is essentially a magazine. You rube. So how do we get it started? Dim the lights, put on some music. Swallow 35 vitamins each. Oh. Cheers. Oh. Let's make a baby! What were you thinking? Breeding guinea pigs at work. We weren't breeding them on purpose. They're just very sexual creatures, and we didn't want to slut shame them. I'm going to look straight into the camera and say, if the shooter is watching, I hope you like living between St. Charles Place and Connecticut Avenue. I don't get it. It's from Monopoly. as where jail is. Whatever, it was a good line. Keep briefing. I want your partner off the case. What's his name? It's Raymond Holt. Oh, it's Dad. I mean... Captain Holt. I mean, Captain Dad. I mean, Officer Holt. I mean, Officer Dad. Yep, that was it. Officer Dad, I found it. What's going on here? Is everything okay? Yeah, totes. Right, Rosa? Earth, I need you both there immediately. Can you handle it? Absolutely not. It sounds like way too much responsibility. I have no pee inside of me. I pee free, Rosa. What do I do? What do I do? Drink water. Oh, yeah, you're smart. You're a very good friend. I'm glad you're here. I have some news. The Madeline Wunsch is a Korean toilet ghost? Boring. No way that's true. As Wunsch says when she sees deodorant, I'm not buying it. <laughs> Sir, she's dead. Oh, Terry, zombies can't die. As God said, when Wunsch tried to sneak past the gates into heaven, it ain't happening, honey. <laughs> Names are all made up. There's no such thing as a normal name. Terry. Do you know who this is? This is Matt Daniel, the most popular male ASMR performer on Twitch. ASMR performer? Someone who speaks real soft. Cagney and Lacey's recorder concerts in an hour, and I promise no one I'm... leaves until the culprit is brought to justice. But they're playing uptown phone. I wouldn't care if they were playing actual music. I asked them to come down because I need an objective set of eyes on this. I can be objective. Then tell me, how do I look today? Normal? No. Dillman? Bloated. Thank you. Okay. Give me a flute. Wrong! First rule, never give anyone your flute. I'm sorry, are you accusing me of something? Was that not clear? Do you need me to say it in Latin? I think you will sabotage me. You can see the gems right here on the x-ray. And you're sure those are the gems and there's not something horribly wrong with them? Well, the part that's horribly wrong with them is if you look here... Oh, nobody cares. What does this mean for the highest? Hey, is it weird that Jane Jetson gives me a book? You found a therapist that let you do that? No, I've been paying an actress to pretend to treat him for months. She's actually helped him a lot. Oh, did Jake ever say anything about me while you were listening? 
Where are those bunnies? Keep fighting. It's why I did this. You know, technically, we all shared in Jake's first win, so this might be my fourth. What? No. no that was a good point. Oh, we also helped Holt win, too. Oh, shut up, Santiago. Just shut up. Excuse wow. me? Oh. I remember that. How, How dare you, I sir? want to take oh, my wife. You told her to say that. Peralta, I'm in complete control. Hello. Shut your damn mouth. I'm the one talking here. I don't see it. Charles, it's called WorkplaceBoneBuds.com. All I hear is friendship and broth. That's Sergeant Peanut Butter's unit. No one wants to work with that condescending dick. Okay, first of all, he's a horse, so he can't be condescending. Oh, oh, oh he's got you people fooled. Secondly, he's a lieutenant now. What? Spank that bottom, spank that bottom. I'm a stranger now. This is my big fear about having a child. Losing my spark with my boss. The point is, we can't let that happen to Daddy Holt and Daddy Kevin. So we're just dispensing with subtext now? Yes, this workplace is my family. Was that not clear? Holt is my dad, you're my mean older sister, Amy's my mom. What? What? Raymond Holt! Entering the kitchen. Jake, this is bad. Raymond Holt, entering the second city room. Max issues with sleeping might not be the light in the room, it might be the darkness in your heart. Uh -uh. Is that your entire defense? Uh-uh. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. It's important to be mindful of your energy when you're with an infant. Trust me, I'm sort of a natural mother. <laughs> yeah, natural mother. <laughs> you did a Das Doppelt Lockton. What? I don't know what that is. Das Doppelt Lockton! I'm only half. I know you locked my son in there. I'm sorry. I tried everything. Maybe you'll be happy growing up in that room. Thank you for the moose. I can't believe you actually took it. Of course I took it. You locked my baby in a room, Charles. You're gonna be cooking for him until he goes to college, okay? Okay. Great, thanks. I'll be back because I'm done. Let's talk quickly before he returns and makes this all about himself again. Life is a cruel prank played on the living. Death mocks us all. Time to go tell my son I'll be an orphan again. Uh, yeah, things are going good here. We're just staking out the doctor and trying to keep a low profile. Oh, Sir, your insults are kind of known to be a little too thinky. Maybe you should just let oh, me Oh, Sullivan, you are a And I hope you could shove right into your Mm, it pairs well with despair. Focus on the things you didn't do. I said not to focus on the things you didn't Again, do. Again, your speech meant nothing. I'm just picking out individual words. Sure, sure. Yeah. Kevin brings up how Cheddar's French comprehension has regressed. Cheddar's tutor says it's because we're not speaking enough at home. I guess we could call that creepy babysitter you like so much. The babysitter is Franzia! Even better! Two birds with one stone! We bring him to you! We're not giving our baby to a serial killer! Oh, grow up! What did you just do? I texted him a picture of my penis, like you suggested. No! Oh, I meant for you to call him and tell him you've been thinking about him. Why didn't you say that? Doug got arrested. He's going to prison. Wait, what? Doug got arrested. He's going to prison. Yeah, no, I heard you. I was just processing. Aw, you want to hug a dog? Oh, my God. It's like a third of him. Well, I can be very persuasive. I got the guy and his family a six-day pass to Pirates Cove Water Park. So many days in the water. The family's gonna be pruning. The name of the game is called Who Knows Mo? Friend or foe? Are you for real or just for show? A little wordy. Oh, a gut feeling. You know what your gut tells you to do most of the time? Take a dump. And you just took a big one all over yourself. Okay, well, I don't have a comeback for that, so I'm just gonna go. Agent Feingold. Draco confessed. The undercover operation is over. But I just got a spot in the choir. You dress as Amy, you take my place, and oh my god, is Nine Drink Amy a genius? That's never gonna work. You just need to sober up and get back out there. Oh, you're on the floor. What's going on here? Uh, nothing. You don't give me what I want, I will release proof that you are a homosexual. I came out 30 years ago. This is Captain Holt. Oh, hello, Captain. It's Amy Santiago. Sergeant, are you drunk? Oh, he thinks I'm drunk. What do I do? Uh, British accent. Smart. That'll fool him. Yes, sir. Quite drunk. Wankered, really. Therapy is a chess match, and... I will prevail. I'm helping Holt pick a dating site. Oh, this looks good. PhDs only. Uh, actually, in this context, PhD stands for pretty huge d Oh, my. I can only assume that MDs only stands for medium Sorry, I know how you value punctuality. In my employees, but in potential suitors, I don't mind one or two minutes of tardiness. I like a bad boy. But I was 10 moves ahead the whole time, and now, Checkmate. Ooh, I love chess. Have you seen The Queen's Gambit? It's a TV show. Todd, I swear to God. I feel like this was all my fault. Why? Did you inseminate my mother? 
There you are. Why are you hiding? Oh, I was just uh, looking at pornography. I felt an urgent need to watch some men taking a bath. Who will be on cheddar duty? I mean, can't we just distract him with a bone? Bone! 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 Just one problem. I don't know her number. How could you not know your own wife's phone number? It's saved in my phone! Stupid smartphones making me so dumb by giving me the world's knowledge at my fingertips. Kevin cannot find out what we're up to. He won't. I promise. Raymond? What are you all doing in here? Um, Peralta's watching porn. What? What? And I have some good news. The union voted and O'Sullivan's out? No, he was re-elected for life, which I didn't think was technically possible. Since there's never been an official two-time heist winner... I won three times. You, you won, won it best! Anywho, the point is... You know I would do anything for you. I would do anything for you, too. Will you run that half marathon? I'm never running the half marathon, Amy. You gotta stop asking. Have we ever even been there together as a squad? Uh... Yeah. I'm not sure why we all looked so intense. We were just getting falafel. Wow. Did Terry put up a balloon arch just for the heist? No, that was me. I come every week to install a fresh one. Surprise reveal. Gina? <laughs> we came back to change because we had to ditch our magnet suits in the armored car. It was fine for me. Charles went commando for some reason. I'll never make it in time. Yes, you will! Another surprise reveal. I mean, we knew you were around. I watched you enter. And Nikolaj? Nikolaj. 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 Why don't you just call him Nick? Nick. All right, now you're ruining the moment. Copy that. You know who's gonna walk through that door right now? Bruce Willis. Jake, you woke up? No. But if I don't have the winning tube, who does? I do. Yet another surprise reveal again. Hello, is there anyone here? Malipnos! No. What? Yeah. You played violin at my wedding. You're Malipnos. No. My name is Jerry. Jerry Barfalatistan. What? So you don't want to end up with Pimento? No. But you believed it because you all think for someone to be happy, their story has to end with marriage and kids. I mean, I believed it because you told me and I trust you. Whatever, Breeder. Can you please hand me the keys that are down there? Yeah, yeah, yes. Thank you, I love keys. Oh, and this is for you. What? What are you doing, Bill? I'm sorry, but this is your fault for ending the heist. They're my only source of income. You're still my best friend. Goodbye. Well, then expecting to get this emotional. It's not bad for an old robot, huh? Yeep, warp. Seep. <laughs> Sir, did you just make a joke? I believe I did. Yes. I guess in the end, we rubbed off on each other quite a bit. Tyler, your sex movie. Glad we got these sweet cams. What is happening with your voice? This is body cam, Charles. I gotta sound badass in case anybody watches the footage. Compete. Ah! Oh, I just spilled soup on the cam. Why do you have soup on a stakeout? Oh, no, crap. Oh, it's not turning back on. Do you think Sarge is gonna be mad that I spilled pho on the cam? He definitely won't be say pho like that when you tell him. I'm not gonna mispronounce it. Not while you're rolling. Go get yourself cleaned up. Anything, Sarge? Not yet. Don't know why I didn't go undercover as someone wearing a scarf. Terry hates wind chill. Wait, here's our guy. Got him. Crap. I think he made me. He's headed toward the restaurant. You follow. I'll cover the back alley. Should we get in here? Charles, you're completely naked. You have the right to remain silent. You know, I'm probably remembering a lot more nakedness than there actually was. No, you're not. Also, no one's gonna see it on that little TV. Great news, we were able to snag the new flat screen. 4K, baby. Your Honor, Mr. Tran claims that he had no narcotics on him. Fortunately, our detectives were equipped with body cam. I think we all clearly saw where Mr. Tran threw the drugs in the trash right before he was apprehended. At least it's over now. Really? How do we know those were drugs? Please back that tape up. No! Objection! On what grounds? That's my penis? Overruled. Hey, man, look at that and tell me what you see. A naked fool. No. Between the thighs and under the testicles, there's a bag of cocaine. A bag of cocaine that's gonna get us a conviction and prove the value of body cams. 
You know what I see? A naked hero. You're right, Sarge. Thank you. Now let's zoom in. Zoom. Oh. Over zoomed. Hey. What's going on? Just picked him up on a dozen counts of identity theft. His name's Doug Judy. You ever seen him before? No. Rosa. Rosa Rosa. Oh yeah. Beautiful Rosa. I think he's into me. What do you do to these perps? Fear is a powerful aphrodisiac. Anyway, he said he wants to speak to, quote, John or Jack Peralta or whatever. What does he want with me? And should I change my name to Jack Peralta? That sounds badass. Jack Peralta, crocodile hunter. Yeah. He said he wants a deal. He has information about some dude who steals Pontiacs. Pontiacs? He knows about the Pontiac bandit. Listen to me. He specifically said he knows a guy who steals Pontiacs. Yeah, I just said that. Chill, man. OK. OK, sorry. OK. <laughs> hey, Diaz. Come in here, talk to me. This dude is super horny. Yeah. OK, we're looking for room 247, Agent Jack Danger. Agent Jack Danger? Wow. That name is a badass. Code for badass. Yeah. So badass. Ah, here we are. Wait. Cool guy, probably expecting a cool knock. That was incredible. Enter. Are you Danger? Jack Danger? It's actually pronounced Donger. It's derived from a Dutch word meaning prudence in financial matters. Oh. Jack Donger. Also cool. Have a seat. I understand you need a little help from the big boys here at USPIS. USPIS? Yeah. U.S. Postal Inspection Service. Founded by Benjamin Franklin in 1772. Undoubtedly a great man's greatest accomplishment. Are you aware that he helped popularize Parmesan cheese in America? I am. USPIS is the crown jewel of the law enforcement system. 1,200 inspectors tackling everything from mail fraud to the shipment of contraband fruit. And, of course, occasionally assisting our little brothers in the police department. Little brothers? Well, I am a federal agent. You're just the local cop. Nothing wrong with that. Uh, we're here. I sprained my wrist. Oh, no, what happened? Don't worry about it. I'm fine. Yeah, geez, Amy, back off. Leave the guy alone. All right, huddle up. Everybody, bring it in, bring it in. So he wouldn't say what happened, which can only mean one thing. He's in a fight club. No, he did it doing something he's embarrassed by, like smiling. Only question is, how do you hurt your arm smiling? Could be a sports injury. I sprained my wrist in college playing field hockey. Men's field hockey? Yeah, it's much more violent than the women's game. We're not allowed to wear anything that protects our breasts. Attention, everyone. I can hear you speculating about the nature and origin of my injury from my office. I tripped over an uneven sidewalk. I did not think it was relevant to your jobs, the jobs which you should all be doing right now. Get to work. Do you want to know how I actually hurt my wrist? Yes. I was hula hooping. Kevin and I attend a class for fitness and for fun. Oh, my God. I've mastered all the moves. The pizza toss, the tornado, the scorpion, the oopsie doodle. Why are you telling me this? Because no one will ever believe you. No, no. <clears throat> Dismissed. Sir! I'm coming with you. Thank you, Gina. I'm also coming. Not necessary. Gift basket. Yeah, it's full of treats. It's got meats, cheeses, candies, all the food groups. The cheese is amazing. It melts in my mouth and in my hands. Hmm. French chocolates, French cheeses, tiny French pickles. Did none of you detectives think this might be a gift for Captain Holt from someone in France? Like his husband, for example? What? <laughs> No way. This is a nice present from an unknown appreciative citizen that wanted us to munch. What's this then? Dear Captain Raymond Holt, thinking of you best, Dr. Kevin Cosner, PhD. He even used their pet names. Oh no. I ate the chocolate covered strawberry. That's the most intimate snack of them all. Holt's gonna be back from his meeting in 30 minutes. What do we do? Eat the note! No! No. It's okay. We can fix this. Check it out, sir. A lovely gift basket that Kevin sent you all the way from Paris. Straight from Paris!
Stapler. Scissors. Rubber bands. That man really knows me. <laughs> what the hell's going on around here? Fire extinguisher roller chair derby? Okay. Lost my edge. There was an incident in a department store. Hey man, you okay? You look a little chubby. I'm fine, I'm fine. I think he's dead. Actually, I'm super glad you guys are here right now. Are you smelling that weed smell? Yeah. Because a dude broke in, smoked weed, and bolted. <laughs> Do you think it's the same dude that left that bong there on the floor? Yes. It's over, Disco Man. Put down the yo-yo and back away from the girl. But someone has been painting wieners on squad cars. And apparently, they won't stop until there's a penis drawn on every cop car in Brooklyn. Oh, that's what he's been drawing. But what are those two little round things at the bottom? It's the butt. The butt? Hey! 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 hey, hey. What the hell's going on here? Science experiment. I want to see what happens if I taser this cantaloupe. Okay. Okay, my granny also had the gift. I feel that I will die soon. She was right. She died two years later. Oh, Podolsky, just like uh, Deputy Police Commissioner Podolsky. Your father is Deputy Police Commissioner Podolsky. I'm not sure how things work here, but does that mean that your career is in my hands? <laughs> okay, you know what? Yes. I'm here. Right on time. You have a uniform, Broad. Baby steps, Captain. Baby steps. Anyways, grandson's coming in, they reunite, and I throw another case on the old solved it pile. Hey, my croissant. Okay, this is Ethel Musterberg from the Prospect Heights Senior Center. There was an ID card in her back pocket. Why was your hand in her back pocket? Well, she told me she didn't have any ID, and I'm like, Boyle, my first instinct was not to caress her butt. Frisked! I frisked her butt. And if you don't get your crap together, I'm going to end up busting you and throwing you in jail. Got it? Remix, yo. Throwing you in jail. Throwing you in jail. What's happening? I think they're laughing at you. This never happened before. I don't like it. Ask about his bank account. Ask him about his bank account. You should ask him about his bank account. Captain, Santiago broke the glass. Well, how do you even know he's in a bad mood? I mean, it's impossible to read that guy. This is the most incompetent, worthless report I have ever read in my life. Get your act together or so help me God, you won't live to see retirement. It's like, what's that guy thinking, you know? You gotta cool it, man. I'm gonna get some candy. I'm pulling you out. Whoa! This is the proudest moment of my career. <laughs> Santiago, I know that you hate Halloween, but stick with me and I promise you, you will love it. Can you magically make everyone kind, sober, and fully dressed? Kind, sober, and fully dressed. Good news, everyone. We found the name of Santiago's sex tape. Do annoy him into talking. Ha ha. Two, three, four. <laughs> Didn't work. You got a second, Captain? I've got these overtime forms for you to. Are you stifling a yawn? No, sir. You can crash on my couch. I haven't downloaded you some whale songs. Thank you, sir. I'll never forget it. 
Good night, Terry. Do it. I believe in you. Throw it. I believe in you. You searched for cheapest date possible. And I wear that search like a badge of honor. So, ready for dinner? Here we go. <sighs> Would you like something sweet or maybe savory? Apple pie and I'm stuck. I'm stuck! Scully! Hey, Sarge. I know you got a secret stash of food hidden somewhere. Oh, no. Where is it? No, I don't. Is it in your pockets? Oh, come on. I'm gonna shake it out of your pockets. Turn around. Sarge! Oh, Sarge! Go live, Scully! Oh, ah, this is fun! Release your sweet! You're right. I want to do what I do every year. Sit at home, watch football, and eat mayo nut spoonsies. Those are spoonfuls of mayo sprinkled with peanuts. That's revolting. Maybe so, but it's what I invented when I was six because my mom was working, so I had to make dinner for myself. My sad story trumps your insult. Jake, 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 Jake. Thank you, Boyle. Okay, before we eat. Nope, not doing that again. Move! Could you pass the you get that hand near me again? You're gonna lose it. Okey doke. And time's up. Show me how Terry sees Terry. Oh no. Yeah, it's pretty bad. Team pop and lock, here we go. Come on, still? We saved your life. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's happening. Yes! We did it! I'll print out some menus. Ouch. You ran over my foot. I am in incredible pain. Pedal, 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 push. Pedal, 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 push. All the cycling makes me feel like Lance Armstrong. I'm like, you use performance enhancing drugs and have one testy. Wouldn't you like to know? Hey, Sarge, this cast has a special crotch hole. It's like a doggy door for my penis. Shake. Let's see the bow. <laughs> Just like Jenny Gildenhorn. Why do I wish you had braces? Should we get you braces? No, that's too much. Here I come. Nice shorts. Thank you. Believe it or not, they were not very expensive. I'm worried you don't find me interesting. I'm gonna pretend someone texted me. Bloop. Santiago, 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 you suck so bad. Yes! I sometimes worry I'm gonna become you. Oh, sir, are you looking for your glasses? I borrowed them to do an impression of you. It killed. Peralta, give me my glasses. Peralta, give me back my glasses. Ooh, okay. Hey, Des, Terry Jeffords is back! Chest bump me! You don't want to do this, man. No, I really do. It hurts you every time. No, I know, but I'm fired up. The adrenaline is going to carry me through. Here we go! <laughs> well, frankly, I'm not so sure that everyone at the gym is going to buy you as a trainer. You've been sitting behind that desk for so long, you've gotten a little tubby, right? It's like love handle alert. Do you have a bone there somehow? Why is everyone so worried about the Sarge? He was amazing. He made the buy, took out the suppliers, but wisely didn't take on more than he could handle. I left 140. And you'll be happy to know that he punched me in the face several times. That does make me happy. Don't you have a murderous aspect to question? He is in the interrogation room as we speak, sitting and, I assume, stewing. I put on a song that I think sums up his situation nicely. I got you, babe. I'll just go then. With this fully signed confession, we did it, Gus! Woo! Suck it, Vulture! I killed that guy and his neighbor, but you were too late! Woo! Wait, you killed his neighbor? Thanks. New item up there. Uh, how much you guys want to pay for me to stick my socks in this moron's mouth? I will. Did football legend Joe Theismann just bid $1,000 to put a sock in my mouth? You bet. Okay, but let's get it going a little Seriously, higher. Seriously, back to the porno plate. Uh, 1200 bucks. Plate. Sock in the mouth. Boom. Okay, the idiot Good gets the sock in the mouth. Boom. I'd say 1300 Maybe we should just uh, empty Lost and Bound. Already done, sir. Detective. Yeah. Good Lord. Where did he get that? Oh, my God. We're doomed. Boy, it looks like a lesbian. Hello, good sir. I'd like your finest bottle of wine, please. That will be $1,600. Great. I'd like your $8-est bottle of wine, please. It's from the finest vineyard in Arkansas. Ah, yeah. oh, Samesy. <laughs> great. It's all so great. He could take it down just a smidge. If you like pina colada. Dead guy, Charles. Sorry. Greetings, all. You know what the toughest part about being a gay black police officer is? The discrimination. <laughs> I mean, it's impossible to read that guy. 
This is the most incompetent, worthless report I have ever read in my life! Get your act together or so help me God, you won't live to see retirement! It's like, what's that guy thinking? I didn't see anything. I'll see my quesadilla. It was a good one. Chicken, cheese, guac. But they forgot my pico de gallo. I remember when I was a little boy, my mama used to make this, uh, she used to call it faux cheese. What y'all call it? Y'all call it four? How come they never make quesadillas with sausage? You throw some tomato sauce in there and call it a pizzadilla. What you think? What is going on? Tell me why. Ain't nothing but a heartache. Five. I never wanna hear you say Woo! I want it that way Ah, oh, chills. Literal chills. I'm still getting over the tragic loss of my wife. She was such a strong female woman with nice heavy breasts. Hello, sir. Can we ask you a few questions? Definitely, yeah. I'm actually, I'm super glad you guys are here right now. Are you smelling that weed smell? Yeah. Cause a dude broke in, smoked weed, and bolted. <laughs> Do you think it's the same dude that left that bong there on the floor? Yes. No! Yeah. Can I tell you the craziest story? One time I was like so drunk and this meathead comes up to me and his body is hot, but his face is like, okay. So I'm like, why? And I was like, bitch, I'm not gonna sleep with you just because you promised to take me to the Bahamas. Take me to the Bahamas first and then we'll see what happens, okay? I was only with him because he drove a Jaguar. Turns out. It was Mercury with the Thundercat taped to the hood. And that relationship lasted for three months. I don't know why we broke up. I guess we just grew apart when he went to prison for life. I hear that. The guy I'm seeing is into some shady stuff. Right? There is the breakthrough. Follow up, follow up. So, how'd you guys meet? That's a funny story. <laughs> the next time. You're all done and you look hot, girl. No, no, she was opening up. Rosa, figure out a way to stay in that chair. Hey, Nikki, I was just wondering, how do you think I would look as a blonde? No! Police? Hello. Hello. What's your name? My name, mm -hmm. Milipnos. Can you spell that, please? M L E P Clay. Did you say clay? Yes, the clay is silent. All right, got it. Have you seen this man before? He was shot last night. Oh, thank you. No, sir, no, that's sir. ours. We need that. We. Yeah, be kept it. I'm nowhere near giving birth. I haven't even lost my mucus blood. You mean you need to get the out of here? Sorry my baby grosses you out, Rosa. I'm excited to meet your baby when it's clean and wearing clothes and not blasting out of you like some half-Cuban Jimmy Neutron. I'm just at the start of my labor. I haven't even had my first contraction. Was that a contraction? No. That was just a crazy yawn. Okay, muchachos. Let's roll up on these muchachos. Great start, and I love your double use of muchachos. <laughs> hey, it's CJ, by the way. I'll just put on a coy smile and say, nothing. See on the ground. What? You're mine, Sergio! Oh. Oh. Did he get away? <laughs> yes, very easily. <laughs> no, no, no. no. Don't eat the burrito. Oh, okay, your contractions are three minutes apart. It's officially time to go to the hospital. Not yet. Do you know how thin your cervix is right now? Yeah, I'm worried, so I started reading the book I found on Jake's desk. I do not want to be around when page 53 happens. Steaks and shots. Oh, more meat and alcohol. More? What does that mean? Uh, uh nothing. You wearing sweatpants? No. Oh, yes. <laughs> yes, I am. I, um. Skip it a scap, cap, boo, but it happened jazz. Jazzity jazz. Juice old jazz. Jizz, jang, jingle, jazz. 
Damn, Rosa! How did you do that? I have a dark past. My female wife, Crystal. I was cheating on her with a waitress from Wing Sluts named Jamie Lynn. Crystal caught me kissing Jamie Lynn's heavy breasts. She flew into a rage, and now she's serving five years for aggravated assault. Oh, hey, I'm sorry to hear that. Bring it in. Oh. Wait a minute. I just had an idea. Two, three, four. Ah! Ah! Yeah, I really gotta stop trying that. It never works. Oh, Rosa, crying. Don't know what to do. Pat, Pat. That's my lint. My lint is oblong. My lint is blue. Okay, sounds like we got a plan. Let's get to training. Ay! What are you doing with your face and your voice? I had an epiphany. I got real excited. I moved my knee, and now I hurt a real bad. Woo, that soup is good. That's gonna leave a mark. What? NYPD. This is Oh, boy. NYPD, sir. Have you seen anything unusual today? Oh, no. This was nice. Thank you. Wait, wait, wait. What is this music? See, Amy? Fun thing about working cases, you meet people from all over the world. This song is a celebration song for when a dog loses its virginity. I'm already represented by my mom. God, you're a turd. Well, this turd is your best friend's future husband. Doink! Hey, wait, no! Give that back to me! Oh, no! He's going! He's going! Oh, He's gaining on you! Not for long! Free shots for everyone! Yeah! Bye bye, Connie! Tell your mother I said I never loved you and that your whole family is a bunch of friggin' bull. Oh! oh. Slept with a guy, broken his heart, hired him to play at my wedding, stole an illegally binding contract from him, jumped on a bar, dumped booze on everyone, fallen off the bar, probably giving myself a concussion, and a permanent scar. I have ever. You have the right to remain silent. Come on and party tonight. The guy's got good hooks. I mean, you keep talking about a thigh gap. That's my favorite part of a woman. There's nothing more intoxicating than the clear absence of a penis. There's Ezra. Hey, you have a minute? I'm actually kind of busy right now. Right, harboring a fugitive. Should I come back or... You know what? Call Daddy. Daddy will get us in. Daddy, the man won't let us into the club. Oh. Yes, Daddy. No, Daddy. No. Daddy wants to speak with you. Gladly. Hello, Daddy. Yes, Daddy. No, Daddy. Daddy. Oh, well, good question, Daddy. Daddy wants to get this young man fired. What is your first and last name? <laughs> uh... You know what? Forget about it. You can just go on up. Fantastic. Everything's well, Daddy. Rosa, 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 Diaz, 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 Rosa, Diaz, Rosa, Diaz, Diaz, Rosa, Rosa, Diaz, Diaz. You are so cool. Hit it, Jeffords. Wait, stop everything, we're here! Where have you guys been? You sent us out to find a band. Right. I definitely remember doing that. It took a while, but I think we really nailed it. Check this guy out. We found him on the subway. Hey, I know you. You're Malipnos. No. We have never met. No, I'm pretty sure we have. You sell me horse blood? No. Would you like to buy horse blood? No. You know what? Maybe we don't need music for this. That's totally fine. We can just skip that part of it. Guitar. 